Welcome back to Med Nurse Farm family. This is how I scored over a thousand in the HESI dosage calculations exam. I actually scored close to 1200 on this exam my very first time and this is how I was able to do that. Um, one of the first things I did was I did practice questions every day and I did at least 20 questions um, each day. Um, this allowed me to get the exposure I needed to different types of questions and conversions and different formulas that you need to know when taking this exam. So let's get started. We'll do some practice questions. And in my, in my opinion, these questions um, are really effective in helping you to get familiar with how to answer these dosage calculations and some of the conversion factors that you need to know. So you can pause the video while um, after you read the question and try solving it yourself and then see if you are able to get the same answer that I um, also got after working it out. So this one says a client who has a gastronomy feeding tube feeding three quarter strength of ensure 240 milliliter every six hours. Full strength ensure is available in a 240 ml can. The nurse should use how many ml of ensure to prepare the feeding. So when I how I approach these questions, the first thing I do is I underline the numbers that are important and the ones that we're going to use. And then what is the expected answer, what it should be in. For example, you could see I highlighted how many ml of ensure. So our answer needs to be in ml. The next thing I highlight is three quarter strength um, of the ensure. So how we work out this problem, I hope you were able to do this too after you pause your video, unpause your video. Um, you take 3 quarter and you multiply by 240 ml and that will give you 180 ml. So if you got 180 ml, you are correct. This next question, um, so go ahead and pause your video, read the question, try to work it out and then I have the answer written here below. Um, the first thing you need to do in this question is convert milliunits um, and minutes to units to hours because the question is asking how many ml per hour should the nurse program the infusion pump. So the first thing we do is we highlight what numbers we're going to use and then we do the conversion. So we know that 1000 milliunits equals to 1 unit. So 2 milliunits over 1 unit um, over 1000 milliunits will give us 0 0.002 units and to get minutes to hours we multiply by 60 minutes. So this will give you 0 0.12 units per hour. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, we need to our answer needs to be in milliliter per hour. So we take that 1000 ml and we put it over our 20 units that is prescribed and we multiply that by the conversion we just did which is 0.12 units per hour. The units cancel off and then we end up with mLs per hour and if you got 6 mLs per hour you are correct. The next question states the healthcare provider prescribes a continuous infusion of 5% dextrose and 0.45% sodium chloride at 85 mLs per hour. The IV administration said delivers 10 GTT per mL. This 10 GTT represents drops per ml. The nurse should regulate the drop rate to deliver how many drops per minute. So this question actually requires a formula. And the first thing I'll have you do is pause your video and underline what you need, um, what numbers are important for you to use. After you've done that, you highlight what your answer should be in, which is drops per minute. The formula to get this answer, to do this calculation, is volume over time in minutes multiplied by the drop factor, which is GTTS per ml. Now we take the 85 ml per hour, that's why we put the 85 ml over one hour, and to convert to minutes, because the answer is, is required to be in minutes, we put one hour over 60 minutes. And then we multiply that by the drop factor, which is 10 GTT per ml. And if you got 14 GTT per minute, you are correct. The next, uh, the next question is pretty straightforward. It says, 
The nurse is preparing to administer hepatitis B vaccine. 5 mcg IM to a school-age child. The vaccine is labeled 10 mcg per ml. How many ml should the nurse administer? So the first thing, we highlight what numbers we need, which is 5 mcg and then 10 mcg. And the question is asking how many ml should be administered. So we have, the first thing you do is, when you're calculating, you take what your um, what is required over what is available. So we have 5 mcg over what is available, which is 10 mcg per ml. We cancel off the mcg, and that's how we ended up with 0 0.5 ml. If you got this answer, that is correct. The next question, um, the healthcare provider prescribes an IV infusion of Ringer's lactate, 1,000 ml with 30 units of Pitocin to run in over 4 hours for a client who has just delivered a 10-pound infant by caesarean section. The tubin has been changed to a 20 drops per ml administration set. The nurse plans to set the flow rate at how many GTT per minute? So here we underline 1,000 ml and 30 units, 4 hours, 20 drops per ml. The question is asking us for how many drops per minute. Thus, we're going to use this formula, volume over time, in minutes, multiplied by the drop factor, which is in drops per ml. So we take that 1,000 ml over 4 hours, multiply, so we're going to convert it to minutes, so we multiply 1 hour over 60 minutes, multiply by 20 drops per ml. The hours cancel off and the ml cancel off, so we end up with drops per minute. If you got 83 drops per minute, then you are correct. Always remember, it's um, better to do your calculations together instead of doing them individually. It's good to lay out everything, um, how I put the mls, hours, minutes, and drops in all one um, calculation instead of doing it individually because then you'll have to end up rounding figures. Okay, this next question states, a client who has AIDS is receiving Xandostatin 1200 mcg by subcutaneous injection every day for symptoms of diarrhea. Sandostatin is available for injection in 1 mg per ml vials. How many ml should a nurse administer? So immediately I see that my answer needs to be in ml and I highlighted 1200 mcg and 1 mg per ml. Now you can see that you're given mcg and mg so you have to do a conversion there. So I put 1200 mcg over 1 mg per ml and I do a conversion, 1 mg equals to 1000 mcg. When you use this, um, you, could make, you can set up your um, table easily. So you do 1200 mcg over 1000 mcg because remember you need to convert that 1 mg to mcg. And 1 mg equals to 1000 mcg. So that's how we ended up with 1000 mcg there. As we do that equation and we calculate it, we get 1.2 ml. So if you got this answer, then you are correct. The next question says, the healthcare provider prescribes um, this drug, Bactrin, 120 mg BID for a child with bronchitis. The Bactrin bottle is labeled 200 mg per 5 ml. How many ml should a nurse administer at each dose? So you could go ahead and stop the video, try to work this out, and then unpause it. So the first thing we highlight is 120 mg, then 200 mg per ml. But the, the question is asking for ml. So how do we set up this? We, we give, we take what, first of all, you know that the answer should be in ml. So how we set up this equation is we put what is given or required, which is 120 mg um, over what is available, which is 200 mg per 5 ml. So we multiply that by 5 ml, and then you would get 3 ml. So if you ended up with 3 
ML, then you are correct. So this is a formula sheet that you must memorize in order to, which will help you in being successful in this HESI dosage calculations exam. 1 mg equals to 1000 mcg, 1 gram equals to 100,000 mcg, 1 ounce equals to 30 ml, the formula volume over time in minutes by the drop factor given over available and then you'll get your answer. 1 kilogram equals 2.2 pounds and 1 hour equals 60 minutes. Now, this formula sheet, um, this much more could be added to this. So as you practice questions every day, I suggest practicing 10 to 20 questions every day. As you do that, you can add formulas and conversions to your formula sheet so that when you are ready to take your HESI dosage calculation exam, you would have had memorized all the necessary conversions that you need to be successful and guys just remember keep practicing i'll post another video with practice questions so that you can get some more practice remember to subscribe share subscribe and like and turn on your notification 